In this section, section 1-2, we'll study the rules for simplifying expressions and solving equations. These rules are called order of operations. For example, four of the operations you already know. They are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The important thing about operation is that each one of them has an inverse. In other words, each operation has an operation that will undo it or break it down. For example, addition will undo subtraction. Therefore, addition and subtraction are inverse operations. Also, multiplication will undo division. So, multiplication and division are inverse operations. If I say that 3 plus 4 is 7, then 7 minus 4 is 3. If I say 5 times 2 is 10, then 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now, in following the proper order of operations, a sequence of steps must be taken to reduce a math expression to its simplest form, or scale down an equation to find an answer. Not following the proper order will result in the wrong answer. Understanding these rules is the key to success in Algebra and beyond. In Algebra 1, this is a typical expression that needs to be reduced. This addition and subtraction cannot be done now. They must be left for last. For example, this 7 and this 2 cannot be added. Not yet, although they are at the beginning of the expression. Instead, brackets and parentheses must be reduced first from the inside. These have to go first, then these, and these. Once the brackets and parentheses are gone, then the exponents and roots are computed next. Now, following this, do all multiplications and divisions, but they must be done from left to right only. Lastly, and only at the end, we may add and subtract whatever is left. Let's review the steps. First, simplify all expressions inside all parentheses. If there are parentheses inside the parentheses, or brackets, work from the inside parentheses first eliminating parentheses as you go along. Next, do exponents and radicals. Radicals are roots, like the square root of 9 is 3. Then, do multiplication and division from left to right as they occur. Multiplication is identified with an x, dot, or parentheses, like in 3 times 4 equals 12. Division is identified with a slash, fraction line, or division sign. Lastly, do addition and subtraction. Let's do an example. In 3 plus 4 times 8, you must multiply first 4 times 8, then add 3. If you add 3 and 4, and then multiply by 8, you'll arrive at the wrong answer. If you want to add first, you must place the addition in parentheses. Now you can add 3 and 4, and then multiply by 8 to get 56. Notice the different answers. Let's try a longer example. In here, the exponent goes first, where 6 squared is 36. Next, the parentheses. 5 plus 36 is 41. We now do all multiplications. 2 times 5 times 41 equals 410. And 3 times 4 is 12. Finally, we add 7 plus 410 and subtract 12 to get 405. Let's do another one. In here, the base 2 is cubed first, which gives 8. Then solve parentheses by adding 4 and 8 to get 12. Multiply 12 by 2 to get 24. The division must be from left to right. On the first division, you get 48 divided by 24, which is 2. And on the second division is 15 divided by 3, which is 5. 
and then multiply by 2 to get 10. Finally, add 9 and 2. Subtract 10 to find the answer, which is 1. One last example. Here, do square root and exponent first. Square root of 16 is 4, and 2 squared is 4. Next, eliminate parentheses. 10 minus 4 is 6, and 7 minus 4 is 3. Divide 36 by 2 to get 18, and multiply 18 by 6 to get 108. Next, do addition inside the parentheses. 22 plus 108 plus 3, and get 133. Finally, multiply 3 times 133 to find the answer of 399.